yes, you should upgrade to the RX 6600 on most cases. All right now, we know the RX 6600 is a much more superior card and probably the best value card at this stage. If you're jumping from the RX 580, it's worth the upgrade. But in here, let's see if how much you would gain by upgrading to the RX 6600 from a lowly old card the RX 580. And for this case, boys, we are using the RX 580, the Sapphire Nitro Limited Edition for this disc. We are pairing this with our Ryzen 5800X3D. All specs in the description, we are using a capture card on an external PC to record all these gameplays and we have run these tests multiple times until we get consistent results. Now, let's start off with Call of Duty and Warzone. We are using competitive settings right here for both cards and we are going to test them out. All right, here we go. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Synthetic Benchmarks. And right off the bat, boys, we can see that our GPU is maxed out. The RX 588 Cubat card is truly maxed out in here. Like, we only get less than 100 FPS, 83, 85 average FPS, 1% loss is really bad at around 68 in this one. So, let's try and see how this one performs with FSR 2.1 turn on. Hopefully, that will bump the FPS for this card. Alright, here we go. Uh, side by side comparison of the 1080p native and FSR 2.1. So we can see right here our FPS is finally reaching 100 and we got 1% lows at 92 compared to 71 at the native resolution. I do note boys that we FSR 2.1 we will have some visibility penalties in Warzone. Not so much with multiplayer but in Warzone you will see that our you know visibility is not that good. But that's fine. We will just um we'll ooh, look at that one uh 73 1% lows still much better compared to the native one so yes let's try and compare rx 580 with fsr 2.1 and rx 6600 with uh just native 1080p and you can see right there boys look at that one 40 plus fps in terms of aperture fps 40 plus uh, lead for the RX 6600 and it turns at 1% lows. That's about, I don't know, 30 at uh, 20 difference. Uh, yep, FPS, not 30 FPS. So, definitely a big lead here for the RX 6600. So, let's see how this one performs in Almazra because this is just a synthetic benchmark. Let's see how this performs in real world Warzone Almazra. Okay, now this is a side by side comparison of 1080p native and FSR. Now you can see right there, boys, our frame times are really bad. So you can see those there are a lot of spikes in there. So just a lot of status in here. So we only got 96 average FPS with FSR 2.1, 58 for the 1% lows compared to much lower on the native one. And you can see right there, heaps of micro status and frame time spikes in there. Let's try FSR 2.1 on the RX 580 and compare it to the RX 6600 native. Alright, now here we go. Now both cards are maxed out, although the RX 580 is at 100%, while the RX 6600 is at 99%. Look at that one, boys. A huge lead in terms of average FPS for the RX 6600. Once again, about 20, 30 FPS, 30 plus FPS with a 1% lows, and you can see our RX 6600 is much more smoother, although you do have those micro status, but this is like season 5 of Warzone just dropped, so you will experience those status anyway every time Warzone drops a patch, it's always Bruh. like that. Alright, let's move on to the next game, Apex Legends. Now here we go, Apex Legends at 1080p, competitive settings once again. Let's see how this one turns out. Okay, starting out with a firing range in here and you can see right there boys, a huge difference in terms of FPS for the RX 6600. Let's see how this one responds on heavy action scenes. Boom. Wow, look at that huge difference. That's almost double average FPS on this one. And once again, really huge difference. So about 100% more in favor of the RX 6600. So if you're an Apex Legions player, you definitely need to upgrade to the RX 6600 if you're still stuck with your RX 580. Right, so big difference right there, boys. And once again, our RX 580 
maxed out. All right, let's move on to our next game, Fortnite. And here we go. We are going to trial out all three APIs once again, DX12, DX11, and performance mode. Let's start off with DX12, and we'll compare this with our RX 6600. And right off the bat, we can see that our RX 580 is maxed out as compared to the RX 6600. Huge difference in terms of average fps and one percent lows and even a point one percent lows boys there's a huge difference in favor of the rx 66 boom cap that guy rx 66 100 so yeah that's 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 really huge difference average fps and even a one percent lows that's 100 fps difference right so yeah it's if you are playing fortnite at dx12 definitely worth considering on upgrading to the RX 6600 but let's try and see how this one turns out in DX11 okay here we go in DX11 see how this one plays right DX11 and once again a strong start for the RX 6600 really I mean you yeah, can add one for the RX 580 173 170 compared to 250 on the 1% lows average FP is once again over 100 FPS difference in and the point one percent but yeah basically huge difference boys so yeah definitely this one if you if you're a DX11 player yep the RX 6600 will be a huge improvement now if you are interested in more of these tips boys something like this and do subscribe to our channel we do these tips all the time and including driver updates as well so yeah click that subscribe button let's go back to the video and let's go with performance mode all right here we go performance mode right basically everything low apart from mission's turn high okay all right now rdna2 so rx 6600 with performance mode they just suck all right and you can see that because their gpu clocks tend to clock lower look at that one our rx 580 is maxed out gpu clock on the rx 6600 is very low and this is why we've got poor results so we can alleviate this as with our previous testings they're true uh changing the minimum frequency so we'll set it up here to 2500 as the minimum frequency and you can see that one huge bump for the rx 6600 look at that one from 100 plus now we got oh nearly 300 if we is on our one pistol os compared that to our rx 580 so yes um yep this is a definitely a good upgrade if you you know if you want that one performance mode obviously nvidia would still be much more superior for performance mode um you can see that on our previous videos but for this one this is okay all right this is so you can still this is you would still feel that big boost in performance with uh performance mode with the rx 6600 let's move on to our next game valorant so here we go 1080p competitive settings and we're also going to try out low settings later on but let's start off with competitive settings in here with the rx 580 and the rx 6600 and look at that one boys so Average FPS goes to the RX 6600, but 1% at 0.1% low go to the RX 580. Obviously, we are GPU bound in here with our RX 580, and that's why we're at 100%. Let's see how this one turns out on heavy action scenes. Now, heavy action scenes, and here we go. We're averaging the 400 fps versus 700 plus but look at the one percent lows and the point one percent low boy so in this game those metrics matter a lot because that will determine your status and you know stuttering and all that stuff so let's try low settings for the rx 580 and see if it actually can change that i'll look at that one look our average fps is actually much higher now compared to competitive settings of the rx 6600 we even got much better at one percent lows and 0.1 percent lows so yeah that's quite surprising let's see heavy action scenes on this one boys here we go heavy action scenes and once again our rx 580 is dominating the rx 6600 on this one All right so it's like maxing out almost maxing out gpu so let's try and see if we 
turn down RX 6600 to low settings if there's any difference. And once again, it still goes for the RX 580. And I think this is something to do with the RDNA 2 architecture is just not good for Valorant in terms of, you know, uh, putting out that uh, more FPS and we can see that with our other things as well especially when we compare it to NVIDIA so the RX 6600 although it's a much more superior card in this scenario the RX 580 wins let's see heavy action scenes if there's any difference and once again it's still the same 300 plus on a 1% lows average big PS is you know high obviously but you know in this case boys you just have to look at the 1% lows because anything over 400 on the FPS that's actually pretty good right let's move to our next game PUBG and in here as always we have competitive settings at 1080p DXLV enhanced all right let's start off with running shots and in this case we've got RX 50 at 580 maxed out GPU and then we've got 114 FP average FPS compared to 181 is a huge difference in there one percent lows 60 FPS difference as well so obviously the RX 6600 is a huge upgrade let's try out FX all right uh, here we have we're introducing a lot of FX in here because like PUBG is really sensitive to FX and in here we've got about 60 fps difference for the average fps and then about like more or less the same for one percent and 0.1 percent low so huge difference huge it's a huge upgrade if you're playing pubg and you can see that it's like the rx 580 tends to max out loud and in, in, in the game in game if you get like 100 percent gpu utilization sometimes it will just have no status uh, at least with the RX 6600, it's not like fully maxed out. So yes, and if you're interested on maybe upgrading to an Nvidia card, let us know in the comment section down below, and we could probably retest this with an Nvidia card. And if you're interested in more of these tests, do click that subscribe button, boys. We do these tests, even driver updates, and all these hardware testings things on all our competitive games. Right, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.